Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Camo, Associate Professor of Sociology at Georgia Southwestern State University. In this video, I'm going to explain labeling theory. Now, labeling theory is a theory that says that social deviance is sort of the social process that involves interaction between an individual who engages in deviance and the society around them. And it involves these two key concepts, primary deviance and secondary deviance. Now, primary deviance is defined as the initial act of deviance that results in the individual being labeled by society as a deviant. Perhaps someone steals something, gets caught, and then everyone in their neighborhood knows that this is the kid that stole the candy bar from the convenience store. And all of a sudden people start having sort of this negative attitude towards this person as a troublemaker or a deviant. Now primary deviance is that initial act. Secondary deviance is defined as all the subsequent acts of deviance that result once that person has internalized that deviant label. So let's say this kid steals a candy bar, gets caught, and it's a small community so everyone knows, and all of a sudden people just start looking at him a little bit differently. Parents tell their kids that you can't play with this kid because he's a troublemaker. Various other things happen. Maybe he goes to apply for a job at a local store when he gets to be a teenager, and the, the employer remembers that this is the kid who sold the candy bar down the street and just doesn't want to trust him. So this person starts to kind of be treated differently and then starts to internalize that. They start to be influenced by the perceptions of others because everyone treats them a certain way, so that's how they feel they are seen. And as that starts to become internalized and part of that person's identity, they start to see themselves as a deviant potentially. And then they may just decide, well, you know what? If I'm going to do the time, I might as well do the crime, right? If people are going to see me this way, I guess that's who I am. So if that person then engages in subsequent acts of deviance, those subsequent acts of deviance that come after that deviant label has been internalized as part of their identity, those are secondary deviants. Now, I get it's much more nuanced than this, and we're not taking away individual agency. People have decisions to make and responsibilities to make the best decisions they can. But how others see us does influence who we see ourselves as. And if how others see us starts to influence or limit our legitimate opportunities, that person's not hiring you for the job because they remember you're the kid who stole that candy bar, well, maybe we start to look for illegitimate opportunities. So these things do have influence. So in summary, labeling theory is a theory that looks at how deviance is sort of this social process where an individual engages in an initial act of deviance, primary deviance, and then society labels them a deviant. And as that becomes part of an internal part of their identity, they then engage in subsequent acts of deviance or secondary deviance. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to click like and subscribe.